Yeah, see? Yeah. Electrocution. i get you with the old <laughs> zap a dick. Zap, 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 zap. Adam and Corwin are playing games. They're both so stupid and lame. The show is going to hell. In a handbasket. Hi, everyone. I'm Corwin. This is Adam. You're watching Handbasket Gaming. And we're playing uh, Mario Kart Double Dutch. Double Dash. Double Dutch. And you're so close. Three-fourths of the uh, way there. <laughs> 75%. That's a C. That was deliberate. Double Dutch is... Isn't that a game? Isn't that like a double dutch? Or yeah, it's like a... jump rope. Anyway, we're playing okay. this thing and we're shocking our arms. Each time we lose, we go up an intensity level. I'm up at nine. Corwin's at five. <clears throat> now we're going to keep racing and shit. So I'm going to get up to nine because I'm bad Ow. at the races, but I'm good at the battles. Ow. That's all good. Yep. So um, Adam was telling us stories about Paris yeah. and other fake places. Yeah. A little and... known fact about, uh, about Thune. Uh, which is a place in Switzerland. Uh, mm. It's right on a lake, and you can, like, we were we were right on the lake. I, we had a balcony where we could look over the lake, and uh, off in the distance was, like, the fucking Alps. Like, that just, sounds really romantic. You know, it was. It really, really was. And we what? only spent two nights there, which was upsetting, because, like, I want to go back. But, uh, I was say, I know that your wife doesn't watch the show, so you can just be honest with uh, with us. Was it a very romantic, saucy time in the Alps? We did get drunk a did lot. You, did, you melt, <laughs> did you melt the ice caps? Um, did you flood the polar bears' homes, Adam, with your passion? Wow. I'm not, like, I wouldn't talk to you about that if we're not on the internet. <laughs> like, that's creepy. That's creepy when it's in private, just between <laughs> us. God damn it. Oh, hey, there's Wait. a big hole there. There is a big hole there. At least I'm still beating you. Other things oh, Adam shit. said when he was in the Alps. Um... Actually, I did, because we hiked down one. Anyway, but uh, little known fact about Thune, Switzerland. Every single person there it falls into one of two categories. Either they are very old and rich enough to live there, or they are a an undercover supermodel. Because, like, at the pizza place that we went the one night, I'm just like, blam! It's just like, wow, Heidi Klum, what are you doing here? Wow. And, like, the one receptionist at the hotel. And, it, like, it's just ridiculous. It's just like, you could be, like, like, I, I'm, I don't want to, like, oh, god damn it. I don't want to put down. Yeah, I the hole, too. Yeah. I don't want to put down receptionists or anything, but it's like, you could be doing more than that. <laughs> just FYI. <laughs> that doesn't sound sexist at all, Adam. No, that's not sad. Like, if I could be a model, I'd be a fucking model. Are you kidding me? Yeah, you would. Because, who oh boy. Like, it's so easy to, like, if you're getting paid to do it, it's really easy to work out and not eat. Because there was a time in my life where I just worked out and not eat, not and didn't eat, you know, pro bono and shit. So, like, it, <laughs> yeah, it's called being <clears> poor. <throat> well, no, the working out, you don't have to work out if you're poor. If no. you have a very physically demanding job, I suppose you do. Like you. I do a very physically demanding job. Hey, I didn't hit the hole that time. Uh, but yeah, we uh, we went, uh, we rode, essentially it's like a really fancy, like, enclosed ski lift thing. Uh, mm -hmm. It's called a funicular. You go skiing? No. Um, but we rode that up the Alp, and then we're just like, oh, let's hike down. Well, because then, you know, we've hiked an Alp, and that's pretty neat. Uh-huh. Thing that I learned uh a jen being clumsy in normal situations kind of cute kind of funny when hiking down a mountain very concerning and uh <laughs> not uh not a fun time also the uh oh that's uh that's you up another notch there buddy boy lay it on me i'm um, ready so uh also in addition to that you uh the the time estimations they give on the little guide map lies like those those estimates are for like pros swiss people <laughs> mountain folk who like live there and do this every day which there were a lot of those guys and i felt like a douche and a baby and various other, other things, things because like, we're literally, like, we're going Did you slowly. just hit all of us with a bomb or something? No. Well, There's, like, me, like, nine cars got thrown in the air. I, I was about to be very impressed I, with you. I did not IRA your ass. Um, well, you weren't in Ireland. You were in the Russia-specific... 
uh, Pacific or something like that, right? Yeah, the Russia Pacific. Yeah. Good old... Very specific. Good old Kansas Slavia. <laughs> very, very specific Russias. Yeah. Oh, God damn it. Um, but we, uh, we were going slow. We were taking our time, uh, taking in the scenery, and then, you know, every... Every time there was a remotely rough part, I had to turn around and offer my hand to Jen so that she didn't die. Mm -hmm. And we're going down the mountain. And there are people who are, like, passing, like, going twice our speed, going up the mountain. Mm -hmm. And, like, it's just, like, you, you people are, like, it's impressive to be sure, but fuck you nonetheless. Mm -hmm. But, like, we just got, like, the estimate was, um, the estimate on the guide map was a total of three hours. It took us six. And it was rough. Well, that's just because you were enjoying the mountain, man. No, it was not. Because initially we were. We were absolutely enjoying the mountain. We got to eat. Uh, there was a cafe on top of the mountain. Ooh. So we got to eat on top of the mountain overlooking, like, you know, this... Like, it didn't look real with these backgrounds. It's just like, this is a Thomas Kincaid painting. You're fucking uh, lying to me. And it was amazing. But then we started hiking down the mountain, and we're just like, oh, this is this is awesome. This is so cool for, you know, the first hour or so. And then we're just like, this is, this is going on for a while. And we got to the halfway point around hour number three. And there's a... Uh, there's a funicular Concerned station. <laughs> Just there, like there's there's one of those uh, one of those ski lift stations about halfway down, and we're just like okay, and we're like we looked at each other. It's just like, like, and at that point, I'm just like, I think I'm getting my second wind. I think I think I might got this. So it's <clears> your fault. No, uh, and I looked at Jen, and we essentially we looked at each other, and I'm just like, okay, does our stubbornness outweigh? our wisdom of knowing that we shouldn't do the rest of it versus, you know, the stubbornness of being able to say, hey, we hiked the whole fucking out. And it, uh, the stubbornness won and we went the rest of the way. And as we kept going down, the size of the bag of dicks that we were telling the mountain to eat <laughs> this big. just got bigger and bigger and bigger. And it was just, it was rough. And, like, because initially, we had seen a sign that said, like, Friendly Mountain or something like that. And I Not developed the character. Mountain. I'm just like, hi, everybody, I'm the Friendly Mountain. How you doing? And by the end of it, it's just like, I hope you fucking die. I hope you die in a fire, Friendly Mountain. You're not my no, friend, Mountain. But I'm your friend. No, you fucking die. I hate you. I hope you die. <laughs> you are the worst. So we decided we're going to do one more Grand Prix, and then we will have experienced pretty the much the entire game. game. And, uh, yeah, we're doing this again. Like, I know there's, like, a us together versus other thing where, like, Fuck I'm that on a noise. web, I'm, like, I'm a gunner, you're Pick a driver. Pick a person. What are you doing? Oh, yeah, hey. Bam and, uh, zap. Which I like the, uh, like the, the races a lot more than I like the, uh, the battles. Because I'm making up the difference here. Like, I'm at nine, and Corwin is now, I believe, at seven. Yep. So that's I'm actually going well. I, I'm pretty sure that like some my racing is not very good anyway. Mm -hmm. So uh, as we get further and further along in this, I'm just because he's absolutely not a racist. So not that's, a racist, and yep. this is important. Ow. So yeah, do, do, that was. Do, 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 yeah. Do. Oh, a uh, fun fact about Germany: uh, when you say castle, fuck dicks, bag, slag. Fuck dicks, bag, slag. All right. That's uh, that's German for uh, I like your toes. It is, actually. Uh, <laughs> I took but, 17 years of German. Fun fact about Germany. When you say castle, or when they say castle, they mean either ruins of a castle or just big house on a hill. Because, like, and this pissed me off, honestly. Like, the, the Germany stretch of our tri trip was not pleasing, and I did not enjoy it at all. We actually cut it short by a day because it was, uh, it, it sucked. It sucked balls. <laughs> Um, you just didn't have the right Germans. Yeah, well, we we I didn't. Heard great honestly, like, about Germany, we we honest. went to like we were in a small town, and like if we were in a like I've been told the cities are better. Anybody, um, we uh, Jen had said I want to I want to see the Black Forest, 
And she said specifically, I want to see a castle in the Black Forest. And I'm just like, okay, you know, husband powers activate. You're going to find the best fucking castle in the Black Forest that exists. And so I did. I looked into it. And there's a castle in the Black Forest where you can rent rooms. Ooh. And it's just like, fuck it. You want to see a castle? Fuck that noise, lady pants. We're going to stay in a castle. We're going to rent a room. We're, we're going to alp it up in this we're gonna castle. We're going to be in a castle. The Alps aren't in Germany. Um, well, yeah, but your romantic passionate nights in the Alps. Fair point. Fair point. In a castle in the Black Woods. Forest. That's how ever forest. That's how like every dark story of evil despair and witches start. So I figured that's what you're going to do. Sure. Two uh, Americans spend a romantic evening in the yeah, Black Forest. And yeah, and then they get fucking eaten by trolls and shit. Yeah. Which, okay, so so we're there, and we get to the castle. It's a big hotel on it. Like, it's just a hotel on top of a hill. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and that was frustrating. And I start looking into it, and I start Googling further and further and further into it, and it's just like, nope, that's a big, like, I'm just searching through castles. Just castles. Lists and lists of castles. It's just like, house on a hill. Castle ruins. House on a hill. Castle ruins. House on a hill. Castle owl ruins. <laughs> I'm just like, this is this is stupid and not what I wanted. So, word to the wise, uh, I believe the actual castle that you want to go to is called New Schwanstein or something like that. It's essentially, it's the castle that the castle from Sleeping Beauty was based on. Ooh. And that's supposed to be amazing. So, Full of roofies, you know, that do that. Um, but yeah, don't believe the hype. Castle, nope. <laughs> Any but, uh, what do you guys think is our favorite Looney Tunes character? <laughs> answer down below. We'll record the right answers and give shout outs to people who are going to write. Uh, give us game suggestions down there as well. And my arm hurts. I'll give you guys a hint it's not the rapist skunk. He's a Looney Tunes character, yeah? He is, right? Bye. I'm letting the electrolysis do the waving for me. <laughs>